extremely flattered to be featured in Avenue. Um, you know, I've been a reader, a consumer of the magazine from the inception of it. I think it's upbeat, it's, it covers a lot of interesting topics, and it's sort of, I don't know, a lot of subjects that I'm interested in. I guess my advice for anybody getting their first tat, you know, the tat virgin, um, would be to plan ahead. You need to interview artists, you need to find one that sort of does it in your style. So put down your notion that you're going to get it spontaneously. What prompted me to write about this experience was two things. I mean, first of all, they're so popular, everybody's got a tat. But at a certain age, it's considered totally ridiculous. Um, and then it's also, there's some sort of social divide in there, slightly, which I really find obnoxious. I think it was an experience that we, a lot of people go through, and I think that people who don't deem themselves candidates ought to rethink it. And so maybe if they heard from me about it, they might reconsider. My daughter didn't, but maybe some others will. <laughs> if Lily got a tattoo, I would jump up and down. I think it'd be so great because, you know, from generation to generation, people are often polar opposites. So I tend to be maybe a little more risk-taking and she's a little more risk-averse. So if Lily were to be getting a tattoo, she wouldn't have to check in with me unless she wanted me to come and hold her hand and crunch it while it was hurting. And I owe her. People said I'm out of my mind, and my good friend Dr. Imber, the famous plastic surgeon, <laughs> looked at me and said, what a joke, and it's gonna really hurt when you come to me to get that removed. And I said, uh-uh, not happening. Would I get another tattoo? Hmm. Well, I, I don't think I'll get a sleeve, you know, but I am actually planning to get another tattoo with a good friend of mine in January when she comes to New York, and it's gonna be in the form of tiny little dots that are sort of tribal, uh, one representing each decade that I've been alive, and of course, I can only get three. 